I'm Dr. Vijay Shankar, consultant neurologist and movement disorder and deep brain stimulation specialist from Apollo Hospitals, Grimes Road, Chennai. Today I'm going to talk about Parkinson's disease, the causes, the symptoms and the treatments and especially regarding the advanced treatment options for Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disease. This disease is occurs due to alpha synuclein deposition in the brain where the dopamine secretion will be reduced in the brain and you can see the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease affects both men and women, young as well as old people. There are lots of evidence suggests that Parkinson's disease affects the men little bit more than the women. And as I told you earlier, it is more common in elderly people. However, 10 to 20 percent of patients can develop Parkinson's disease below 50 years of age. I would say uh, like more than 10 millions of people are affected all over the world. We divide Parkinson's disease in two types. One is a tremor dominant Parkinson's disease. The second type is akinetic rigid syndrome. It means they will do all their activities very very slowly like walking will be slow, the eating will be slow, even the talking they will receive the question and they take longer time to answer. So everything will become slow. And a subtypes we have almost four subtypes of Parkinson's disease. The first one is multi-system atrophy. The, it means the patient will have slowness, stiffness of joints, difficulty in walking, especially they will have frequent urination. There is other subtype which is called as a progressive supranuclear palsy. In this patient, same they will have slowness, stiffness, mainly they will have difficulty in walking and frequent falls, especially these frequent falls happen within one or two years of onset. The third subtype which is called as a corticobasal syndrome. In this corticobasal syndrome, these patients will have mostly one side of the body is first affected. Eventually they will have a other part also, other side of the body also, but they will have some asymmetrical. They will have sometimes small jerky like this or more than that associated with stiffness, slowness and also sometimes they will have a, some abnormal dancing hands and legs which is called as a alien limb phenomenon. The fourth type is called as a Levy body dementia. It means usually Parkinson's patient can develop some memory problems like usually very really it's like 10 to 15 years later on but we see like within three or four years also we see patients with yearly Parkinson's disease dementia but in this subtype patients can develop the memory loss within the one year of onset they have significant memory loss as well as Parkinson's symptom, they will have some day to day fluctuations. One day will be good, or next day the symptoms will be bad, they will have difficulties. Also they will have like uh, uh, hallucinations, like uh, they will see somebody is standing there or sometimes they see somebody, some animals are there, they will get frightened. So significant difference of symptoms between Parkinson's and the atypical Parkinsonism. So, this is idiopathic or normal, automatically spontaneous Parkinson's disease. But there are other causes can also produce Parkinson's disease, such as genetics. As I told you earlier, 10 to 20 percent of the Parkinson's disease occurs due to genetic disease, repeated head trauma, stroke 
pesticides chemicals or sometimes uh, head injuries parkinson's disease usually diagnosed by the history and the clinical examination but when the disease is very early or somebody has a head injury or sometime stroke uh, so we always do a scan called mri scan this mri scan will show that if there is any stroke in the basal ganglia where the dopamine is produced uh, because of the dopamine secretion may be less so this will help us to diagnose as i told you um sometimes we look for the secondary tests secondary causes like uh, sometimes peripheral smear to rule out acanthocytes or sometimes some young onset parkinson sometimes called a disease called wilson's disease can also present like this mainly especially in people with younger disease like less than 50 we prefer to do genetic tests the genetic tests will give us a clue to diagnose the gene related parkinson's disease the best drug for parkinson's disease is levodopa the sindopa sindopa is available for almost 40 years the levodopa that's the best drug till now there are many people think that levodopa has to be taken after the food that's a mistake the sindopa has to be taken half an hour to 1 hour before food or at least 1 and 1/2 hours to 2 hours after the food because the absorption of the levodopa will be reduced by the food so the absorption will be better with empty stomach levodopa or dopaminergic medications usually the levodopa can produce some abdominal discomfort or sometimes uh, uh, they will have fall in bp so sometimes they can have dizziness uh sometimes they can have, because of the levodopa and other dopaminergic medications they will have the dyskinesia the abnormal movements or they can have some hallucinations so the first and foremost the easily recognized uh, symptom is the tremors but unfortunately the the awareness about parkinson's disease is very less in india if you have somebody has a tremors they will think that it is because of old age when they have other symptoms like slowness stiffness or difficulty in walking they will think this is because he is become lazy or he is weak but they don't know what is the cause for the weakness today we have discussed about the signs and symptoms of parkinson's disease also how we can manage the parkinson's disease what all the advanced treatment are available how to uh, prevent or how to slow down the disease all these things we are discussed stay healthy stay safe and stay informed if you notice any of these symptoms please consult your local neurologist thank you